Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Manuel Sanchez. I want to talk to you a little bit about osteoarthritis of the knee. And there's people that send questions on a regular basis, so the first question is going to be... You know, you don't have to know everything about the stage, but there's four stages of osteoarthritis. Of course, the worst one is four, the best one is one or zero, actually zero would be normal. But, uh, so it can be a mild, mild changes, and then medium and severe would be four. The ones that are four sometimes are really bad, sometimes requiring surgery. Uh, some of the treatments that we give respond, the knees respond very well, are the ones in stage two or three. One, two, and three respond really well. The four ones still respond, but they're a little more difficult. The best treatment for osteoarthritis of the knee is, um, it depends on the stage, it depends how much symptoms they have. Some people have severe destruction of the knee and then they have very little pain. Some other people have a mild case and they have a lot of pain, so a lot of it depends on the symptoms. But um, the treatments that we like to give are the intraarticular injections because they resolve the pain very quickly. We use steroids, we use uh, Hyalgen, which is a visco supplementation, some product that comes from the rooster comb, that's where they discovered it. And so we inject it into the knee, it's a natural product and that takes inflammation away, decreases inflammation and pain as well. And it also improves the, the lubrication. So I want to tell you a little about the knee. This is what the knee looks like, this is just a model of course. This is the patella, the bone in the front, uh, the knee. And of course the knee has only movement anterior and posterior, that's all it does. So we have ligaments, this is the right, would be the right uh, knee representation. It has a ligament on the right side, the right collateral ligament, and then the medial ligament, which is called the medial lateral ligament. Okay, so there's a collateral on the, on the outside, there's a collateral ligament on the inside. And then uh, the brown parts represented here, these are the cartilage. The knees have cartilage, so it's like a little shock absorber, so when the knee bends, it bends within that range and it's soft. Instead of, being, instead of the bones meeting another bone and just grinding, you have this soft spot in it. We see that when we eat chicken, if you eat chicken, you see the white thing on the chicken and the bones. And when you join on a piece of chicken, you know, the thigh bone or whatever, that white thing is cartilage. It's the same thing that our ears are made out of, our earlobes and our nose, the, the hard substance, is cartilage. And so it's designed in a way so that the knee, it helps stabilize the knee, but it also, it doesn't make that much noise. It would make a lot of noise if we didn't have this because the bone would be grinding. And then inside the knee, we have uh, other ligaments in the back and in the front. These are called the cruciate ligaments. And these are the ones that keep the knee from really falling up and down, from, from derailing, as we would call it. And it gives more stability on those forces. And that's the way it is. It functions like that. When we get arthritis, then the cartilage that's in here, it becomes uh, degener degenerated. And then the bones start rubbing with each other and the cartilage disappears. These are the meniscus here. They're made out of cartilage. And then you have some cartilage protection here to make it all very smooth. Once that degenerates, then it becomes very rough. And so now you have some grinding. And then as those both areas rub together, you can hear it or you can feel the pain. That's basically it. When home management would be analgesics, uh, we can use Aleve, uh, ibuprofen, these kind of medications, analgesics, Tylenol. Just to decrease the pain, physical therapy is good. You can put, if, it's, um, if you injure it and it's uh, an acute pain, you put ice on it. When it's something chronic you've been having for days and days, and then you can put some heat on it. And they sell some other products over the counter, Icy Hot, and these kind of uh, analgesic creams that you can rub on it that decrease the pain. So that, that all helps as well. But therapy is very good. Physical therapy helps. You know, when a person is uh, symptomatic, we don't want them to climb stairs and force the knee. If you're symptomatic, it's going to injure the knee more. So you got to treat it first, let it cool down, as we call it, let it cool down, let the swelling go away, the the inflammation, and then you can do more more things. But when it's an acute pain of the knee, acute inflammation, it's better not to walk a lot, not to climb stairs. You can walk normally, but don't overdo it. The question is if everybody that uh, has osteoarthritis needs surgery, of course not. We reserve surgery for the cases that do not respond to conservative therapy. Conservative therapy means the medication and the injections and those kind of 
you know, physical therapy and those kind of means. If you have a lot of pain, you can't function well, and it does not respond after months of good treatment, then surgery may be indicated.